Hey there, I'm Manuela with Plitix, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to prepare your product data sheet so you can bulk import your products into your Plitix account. There are four ways of getting your products into your Plitix account. You can set up an API connection, which is useful to connect your Plitix account to an external platform like your ERP system. You can manually create products inside the platform. You can bulk import products by manually uploading a CSV sheet, or you can set up an automated import feed to schedule regular imports. When it comes to options three and four, there are some requirements and best practices that can ensure you have a successful import. First and foremost, the first row of your CSV sheet needs to contain headers. Each row after that will be read by the PIM as a separate product. And each column represents a product attribute or data point about your product. SKU. Now that we have that out of the way, the most important thing you need to keep in mind is that you must include a column with your product SKUs. This column is mandatory and must include a value because the SKU is the unique identifier for your product in Plitix. You can add as many additional columns as you'd like with different product attributes. As I mentioned earlier, a product attribute is a data point about your product. So for example, size, color, price, and so on. Another very important thing to keep in mind is that you can only have one product per row. And if you leave a row or a column blank, then the system will not read any of the rows or columns that come after that. Column separator. Some attributes may have multiple values. For example, let's look at the product attribute color. This attribute represents that my product can come in different colors, like white, gray, maybe even a combination. To import the different options, I'm using a comma between each color option. You can use a different value separator, for example, a semicolon or a pipe, as long as you keep this value separator consistent throughout this column. Categories. When importing products, you can assign them to category hierarchies. To do this, you can include a category column like I have here. A category tree, can include a parent category with up to six levels of subcategories. To separate categories, you must use a hierarchy separator between the different levels. For example, here, I use the greater than symbol to split my root category clothing from the subcategory hoodies. If you want to add multiple category trees, you'll also need a distinct tree separator. In the same example, I use a semicolon to add the category tree, clothing, streetwear. For more information on how to set categories for products, check out the link in the description. Parents and variations. There are many cases where product may come in variations. A common example of this is when a product comes in different sizes or in different colors. To declare these parents and variations, you must include a variation of column like I have here. In this column, you'll note the SKU of the parent product. For example, this sweatshirt comes in various sizes. Each size option will have its own SKU. The variation of cell will be left empty for the parent product. However, for each row that has a child product, I'll write the SKU of my parent product. In this case, NSP-20278. Just a couple items to note is that a child cannot refer to another child product. So for example, I can't write PLT-20298 here because the product with SKU PLT-20298 is already a child product of NSP-20278. The second thing to note is that child products need to follow the same rule of one product per row, meaning even if the data in the other columns is the same, each child will need to be in its own row. Importing assets. Assets are digital files like images, videos, PDFs, and so on. You can import assets as attributes. For example, if you want to import hero image, thumbnail, lifestyle gallery, and more. To do this, add a column with the name of the attribute you want to import. As you can see, I have a column for the thumbnail and another column for my lifestyle gallery. In these columns, you can add an HTTP link or URL that links to your file. Now, this is very important. The links you include here must be publicly accessible, meaning that when you paste the URL in a browser, the image appears directly. Plitix PIM can house all of the digital assets for your products. And the easiest way to link these assets to your products is to import them together via CSV. Now that you've prepared your CSV sheet, you're ready to import it into your Plitix PIM account. 
I'm leaving a placeholder at the end of this video where I'll add the video that I'm creating where I explain exactly how to do the import process and create and match attributes. If you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate in reaching out to us. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can book a meeting with any of our customer success team members, or you can reach out to us via chat at politics.com.